Hello everyone and welcome again. In this video we're going to be talking about how to connect our PIC kit uh, programmer into our PIC microcontroller. We've got here, here a list of microcontrollers that we're going to be using throughout this video series and they cover all three ranges, baseline, advanced and uh, mid-range. So we've got our programmer to connect with uh, the microcontroller we're going to be using its connector which is called in circle serial programming ICSP PIC3 connections will be exactly the same so um, I'm just going to be presenting this on a PIC kit for example now we can specify um, the connector um, number starting from the, uh, the diamond indicating number one on the PIC kit 4 that, that diamond uh, symbol is uh, black and on the PIC kit 3 is white and that denotes uh, number 1 connection connector so we've got them numbered here uh, we're going to talk about them uh, in a moment this is our PIC microcontroller for example 10F200 something small very easy to uh, use as an example so this microcontroller as we can see it's got eight pins and it's got some uh, names next to those pins we're gonna have a look at them in a moment we can say that we've got the MCLR on number one so this is a master clear reset that has to be connected to pin number eight on our microcontroller which is MCLR as well as indicated um, on its name. Next one is a VDD, which is the positive power supply into the microcontroller. This will be connected on our board into the uh, microcontroller as well as the uh, positive source, external source of the power. So this goes into the pin number two of our microcontroller. And the connector number three is a VSS, which is the uh, negative, which is a zero ground um, controller into the our uh, microcontroller. That's going to be connected to external power source as well, and that goes into the pin number seven in our 10F200. The next one, number four, is PGD. So it's the program data. So program data from our PIC kit goes to the pin number 5 which is ICSP that as you remember from uh, just a moment ago ICSP it's our um, connector name actually the uh, type of a programming what we're going to be using in here in circuit in circuit programming so um, that goes there what's important that we're using the uh, data, the, the data uh, connector next one number five is PGC program clock so that goes into the pin number four of our microcontroller and um, again ICSP CLK which is a clock in circuit programming clock so these are the connections for our microcontroller what we're going to be using throughout programming the microcontroller okay let's remove the connections uh, for a moment and let's have a look how is it going to be looking like on the board how many pins we're going to have to use so after disconnecting all the programming uh, connections our PIC microcontroller is going to have look it's going to look like that which uh, we still got the VDD and VSS connected to the external power supply source and we've got some pins there so let's um, have a look at them GPIO that's their name uh, general purpose input output pins and we can say that we have GPR GP0 sorry we've got GP1 we've got the GP2 we've got GP3 these are the uh, pins that we're going to be using for programming now there are two pins on this um, 8 pin microcontroller that are not connected anywhere so they're not going to be any use to anyone we can just forget about them 
those pins that are also called ports in this case we've got just a port as you're gonna have a look later some pigs got uh, more pins in in the port and some of them have got uh, more ports with more pins but at the moment we've got the port with four pins that we can use let's have a look now those pins they've got the numbers which are five four three and eight these are the pin names on the microcontroller now to switch the output or read the input of any pin uh, between high or low or on and off as some prefer we need to configure two special function registers we've got the trace, trace register and GPIO register so let's have a look at the first one the trace register so the trace register it tells the pin whether it's an output or input we can program the pin to be a 0 or a 1 they, uh, there's obviously only one state at the given time which could be either output or input so GP0 can be 0 or 1 GP1 can be 0 or 1 GP2 can be 0 or 1 and GP3 can be input only as we're going to have a look later on in uh, this pig data sheet why um this 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 pin is input only and now the uh, GPIO register so the GPIO register now if we set the pin as an output we can send it logic 0 or logic 1 if we send a logic 0 on the output of the pin that means that we want to display or show that a zero voltage basically close to the zero if we program a one into the uh, given pin then that means that there's going to be a voltage at around five volts at that pin if on the other hand we program the pin to be an input now what the microcontroller is going to be looking at is the uh, CMOS logic uh, binary logic states so now if on our pin microcontroller will see the voltage ranging from between 0 1 and a half volts it will register as a logic 0 and it will give us that information if microcontroller on the given pin will see a voltage ranging from three and a half to about five volts then we will have a logic one on that pin um, it's best to keep those um, values as close to a zero and as close to a five as possible because we can go into this unknown state where microcontroller might give us some unwanted results we're going to have a look later how to do it by using the pull up or pull down uh, resistors but for the moment this is where we are now GPIO pins we can set GP0 GP to 0 or 1 GP1 to 0 or 1 2 to 0 or 1 and GP3 to 0 or 1 as well so this is how we setting up those two very important registers TRIS and GPIO and uh, we're gonna have a look throughout the different big microcontrollers how we setting them up what's the difference between them and what to remember thank you very much for watching this video and in the next video we're gonna jump into programming the PIC 10F200 microcontroller we're gonna set some um, templates for our C program and we're gonna have a look how to switch the ports on or off or actually I should have said how we gonna be setting the states to be um, on or off thank you very much and uh, see you next time bye